you realize I have a bone to pick with you. Okay. You're not phased by this at all. No, no. Do you I've realize? Had, I've, 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 okay. I've felt your picks before. Okay. Not that bad. CX9. Yeah. I did a tech review and you did a tech review. Right. And the viewers seem to like your tech review better. Text and mail, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker. We're cheap as the day is long. <laughs> All right. So that's why I'm going to have you come on with me and we'll do the tech review together of the CX-5. Just to boost your ratings. Well, yeah. Okay. And then I'll get a check and you won't. Right. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that now. 2000. Is this an 18 or a 17? Honestly, I don't know. They don't tell you? No. You're not pulling it's, that Miata thing on me no, where like, oh, I can't tell it's you? It's irrelevant to me. I know when I've got to get it done by. And, and when is the that? guys who sell it, put the, it's sometime in the spring. Okay, so <laughs> whatever it is, 2000 something CX-5 tech review right now. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question here. Okay. We're gonna, this is gonna frame this whole discussion. Is this a totally new car? Or is this what's called a mid-cycle refresh? Uh, it's kind of halfway in between those. So mid -cycle, Everything is difficult The mid-cycle refresh would be like the same body and we just put a new nose on it, new headlights. Yeah. This is a whole new body, a whole new interior, Yeah. Uh, one, no, one whole new powertrain. Um, but the platform, the, under the skin, the suspension is the same as the old CX-5, but retuned. So, sounds like 60 to 70% different. Sure, okay. Okay. I, don't quote me on that, because okay. I don't know. Let's start where we always start the engine. What's that one powertrain that's new? Well, we, we want to put the diesel in this. It's got active time. diesel. Yeah, I know. We just wanted to kind of tease you a little bit. <laughs> okay, so when is this actually going to happen? <laughs> uh, so the, the car is launching with the 2.5 gas engine okay. in the spring. And that's the, the same engine we drove the in the 3 a, and all that other right, stuff. The same yeah. engine that was in it before. Um, no complaints about that one. Everyone likes it. It's uh, wonderful, especially in the 3 with a stick. Yeah. Yeah. So. The diesel, a couple months after that. I don't know how the exact schedule. And yet. do we know specs on the diesel yet? It is our 2.2 Skyactiv-D diesel that this is uh, sort of a second generation of that engine. Mm. So it's updated uh, combustion technology, um, updated some of the MBH tricks. We've got like a harmonic balancer in the wrist pin <laughs> uh, between the connecting rod and the piston to get rid of some of that diesel rattling oh, noise. Oh yeah, yeah. Right at the source. Combustion hits the piston and vibrates the piston, we damp it right out, right That's inside wild. the engine. Yeah. Are you going to have like one of those cutaway things when we come, come drive Probably, the car? Yeah. Or we'll definitely check yeah. that out. Yeah. Your, uh, what is it, your, your petting zoo of parts? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what is the output of that, currently at least? Uh, it's in the 170 range. And torque? And, and 310 foot pounds of torque. Oh my God. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all about the torque and really great boost response. You and I might need to do some racing with this thing. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. we can tweak it and do some cool racing. Well, let, let's do the, the car with it. Okay. Yeah. I'm totally into that. So, right. Okay, so we got 310 pound feet of torque. Now, what is the change? I know you made some changes underneath, but yeah. not totally new. What was changed? So, we, the goal with this car, the CX-5 already handled brilliant. It was the best handling SUV. I would agree. It's there. a fantastic no, no car. No arguments there, yeah. right? So, we wanted to keep that and bring the NVH levels up to what we got in the CX-9. Mm. Um, so, being shared platform, we could take pretty much everything we did on the CX-9 and just do it in this car. So we've got almost the same NVH levels in this as the CX-9. So does that mean some of the sound deadening made its a lot of the trip sound over here? It's a lot quieter, the road noise is a lot quieter. You don't, it, it's a huge improvement in just the sense of quality of the car when you're driving it. Does that mean you got the 50 pounds from the CX-9 as well? We, I don't know exactly how many pounds because yeah. the four pants is smaller. It yeah. did gain a little bit of weight um, because we didn't completely change the platform when we added in some sound editing, but it's, mm. believe me, it's a nice, it's a worthwhile compromise when you drive Fantastic. the car. Fantastic. Um, and we wanted to improve the ride some and still keep the steering and handling. So uh, we had to soften up the suspension a little bit and some of that stiffness of the suspension was how we were getting the good steering response. So we had to throw some stuff back at it to get our steering response back. Okay. Uh, that we'd lost from softening the suspension. So was it tuning to the steering So one was GBC, mapping? the g okay. control, right? That helps with your directness of your steering response. Uh, and the other thing, we took the steering rack has been mounted on rubber bushings to the subframe. We took the bushings out, hard mounted it to the subframe. Um, so you now have a much more direct steering wow. response. There is nothing between that steering arm and, and the car. It's rock solid all through. So oh, to don't. make that work, you, know, you have rubber mounts on that rack for a reason, to, to isolate against vibration, you know, a wheel slightly out of balance, or you don't want to feel every little bump that you hit. 
Um, so we changed some of the bushings on the lower control arm. The rear bushing that does most of that impact absorption is now a hydraulic bushing with two little fluid chambers and a passage. It's like a little shock absorber molded into the rubber. And that let us get, rid, get away with getting rid of the other bushings. So we have this sharper steering response. Wow, so it's a bit of a change. So you're getting yeah. a little bit of weight in terms of sound deadening, but you're taking out some parts, which was one of the big things in right. Skyactiv. Getting it more direct. And more, we really are focused on the responsiveness of the car and how directly it responds to the driver's input. There's a whole Jim Bai Tai thing we're talking about, of oneness between the driver and the car. And you want the car to respond so directly and so intuitively that you don't even think about it. So mm. any delay between your input and the car's response mm. is, is something we're going after. So. Okay, so that's a fancy word you gave me, but give me an idea so the audience understands. They know you now, okay. but they don't know the engineers over in Japan. How much of this are you doing? Are you actually going and doing the testing and then writing the specs? Uh, so all the specs and all the hard parts are designed in Japan. The tuning and what is the level that we can sign off is me. So uh, the, so the U.S. build is your car. You basically spec the car. I'm the gateway that it's got to get past. Yeah. I don't design any of it, but it's got to get past me to get yeah. over it. You look like a member of a Seattle grunge band, I not a gateway up, to a up, Japanese car. I did grow up in Seattle, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, wore, I wore my dress plaid. It's, and they, so you knew I was hey, coming. You're wearing a picnic table, so. Well, I always wear a picnic table. That's never new. All right. What else did you change here? Tell us what else you changed. Because the body, i got to tell you, Julian and Ken and those guys yeah. did a great it's job. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's more mature. Yeah. It, it was still a good-looking car. You never looked at the previous generation one and said it was ugly no, or old. No, not at all. This is just... And mature is exactly the yeah. right word. That's where we're trying to, trying to go and yeah. to just mature the, the, the brand image a little bit. And that's why it's quieter and yeah. more comfortable, yeah. but still has the, that same handling flair that made the car so much fun to drive. A little feedback on CX-9. I'm, A, I'm stunned how many views we got on those, those films. Yeah. And B, I am stunned how many of them are out in the wild so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a good barometer of the success of the car. And the, the, the top trim levels, the Signature and the GT, or 60% of the cars we're selling right now. Are you right serious? Now. In fact, we, we're limited on how many uh, signatures we can sell, not by how many people want them, but by how fast we can make that rosewood. The Seriously. Fujigen, the, the guitar company that makes that rosewood, they stopped making guitars. Because, <laughs> because of because you. Because of us. Yeah. They're trying, yeah. like, we're they need to, like, grow lights and fertilize yeah. to get more wood. Like, okay. That's crazy. Uh, anything else you changed here? Uh, Putting the diesel engine in. That's, that's a big that's thing. A, that's a big thing. That one I'm right. really excited about. Yeah. Okay, so we need to leave a question for the audience. Okay. What do you want to know? Do use this as an op because they are, they for some reason, they love the god of Dave Coleman. What do you want to know from the for audience? Some for some reason, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, who else gets married on a racetrack? Not at a racetrack. You know what? On a racetrack. The guys at, at the track told me we were the first ones to get married on the corkscrew. Yeah. And then I mentioned that to a friend of mine, and he's like, no, I got married on the corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> so before I'm you, not, yes. Yeah. So I'm not that unique. But they still like it. Yeah. So okay. So what question do you want to leave for the audience? No, I gotta ask them a question. You gotta ask them a question because think of it as like free market research. I should be charging you for this. Okay. All right. So we're dropping the we're dropping the two liter base model out of this car. So it's just gonna be the two okay. five. We didn't cover that. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll be the two five and, and the diesel. Um, how many of you will promise pledge to to buy a manual two five if we build it? That's what I need. That's to a damn good question. Right. Okay. Just right off the top of the head. Too. That's a, well, you know, you're usually not the sharpest <laughs> curl in the box. Okay, so you guys need to answer the man's question because yeah. I actually, I, I would buy that. Yeah, yeah. So how many of you would you buy a, uh, a gasoline 2.5 manual? Right. And if the man's asking the question, that means the discussion is going on We're behind the, the scenes. Discussion. So let us know in the comments below or via our social media, Motoman TV, all word, Motoman TV, all word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Then we'll leave you with two things. Uh, number one, have you downloaded my app yet? You have an app? Okay, tell, he's fired. Tell us how no. to do it. Download the app, and I am on five airlines now. Did you know that? I did. So not when know you that. fly to Japan, you can watch me on the plane and I watch can, you. I can watch you talking to me. Yes. Wow. On the airplane. That's exciting. And then we got to leave him with a fun fact. And the fun fact mm -hmm. is. Your life has changed since you started shooting with me. Oh, in so many ways. Yes. <laughs> Not just because you're a star, but because now Mazda asks you what when you shoot? Oh, can you do one of those Motoman style videos? And on that, we'll see you. Um, well, on that, I'm going to say you go by and I'm going to say Vishpeta. Say what? <laughs>